Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So if you've been following along with the Coyote Swap Fox Body Turbo Build, you guys know that I installed a Team Z Chrome Molly 8 point cage. If you don't, go back and check out my videos and you can see the cage install. But, so what I've decided is since this is mostly going to be a street car, I don't want to crawl in and, in and out over, you know, the door bars. And I don't want, if I have a passenger, them to do the same thing because it's mainly going to be a street car. So what I've decided I'm going to do is when I install the door bars, I'm going to install the Team Z door bar swing out clevis kit. I believe it's just going to make life a lot easier for me and anybody that rides with me to get in and out of the car. So these are a, a really nice quality piece. They look it. So we'll go ahead and see what we got to do to get started and what the process is like. As with all my videos, I will put a link in the description. If you like this part, that'll send you directly to Team Z's website. So if you want it, you can get it. So without further ado, let's go check it out. All right, so the first thing you have to do for this process is obviously you got to have the door bar in. So I went ahead and put the door bar in. I welded it, you know, TIG welded it all the way around right here. And I've kind of got it tacked in right here. The reason I did it that way is because once I get this thing cut out, then I can reach in and I don't have to go up and over this door bar to get it fully welded in, just make it easier. So what I have to do now is decide where to cut the roll cage for the actual clevises. So you don't want to cut it too long because you'll bang your shoulder or you'll bang your elbow or whatever it is on it sitting on the seat. So I want to cut it as short as possible so this basically kind of sits a little bit behind me right here. So I already had my seat in here before, so I kind of know where I want it. So what I'm gonna do now is kind of get it measured and see where I want to cut and put some tape around. I'll probably take a Sawzall to it and cut it off, but that's what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna go ahead and start measuring, put a piece of tape, and then I'll turn the camera back on and we'll go from there. All right, so I did my measuring and I've got it about right where I want it, as close to this thing, to the actual main hoop as I could. So it's not gonna hit me in my shoulder or my elbow, kind of getting in and out. And so another tip down here, you don't wanna put the actual clevis too far up because getting in and out, if you don't have your door bar in, it's gonna you know, hit you on your shin or whatever. That'll kind of be a pain in the ass. So. You want to get it, me personally, I want to get it kind of as close to the main A-pillar bar as I can. And that's what I've got. So what I'm going to do now that I've got it measured, put the tape, I'm going to use my tape line and cut, and I'm going to take a uh, Sawzall and go ahead and cut these off. And then we'll go from there. All right, so I've got the door bar cut out. And I cleaned up the inside a little bit so these clevis will go in. They actually fit really well in there. Uh, I believe they only make these for 1 and 5 eighths, but I'll, uh, I'll check their website to make sure, but I believe they're only for 1 and 5 eighths. Anyways, so I've got the, both clevises in. So I've got a tiny bit more cleaning up work to do right here. So it's perfectly flush, but they're sitting about where I want them. So what I'm going to have to do now is measure the distance of this clevis and that's what I'm gonna to have to transfer now to take off of the bar. I'm gonna go just a hair so when I get this measurement, which looks like from kind of where it sits flush to there, is almost three and a half. I'll go just shy of that. And then what, what I can do is keep fitting it in and, and grinding back with a grinder on the actual door bar until I get it to sit perfect. So what I'm gonna to have to do now like I said, take that measurement, tape around the door bar, cut it, and then kind of start fitting it in here and grinding it back little bits here and there until I get it to sit perfectly flush where this thing is not binding or anything like that. So I'm going to take those measurements, transfer them to the door bar, start getting it cut, and then we'll go from there. All right, so I've got the door bars cut at that just shy of three and a half inches that we talked about a little bit earlier. So what I'm going to do now is kind of test fit. These things fit really nice. I know I'm still gonna have to grind off more. But, this will kinda show me where I need. All 
I am about, yeah, still about, you know, a quarter inch, if not more off. So I'll have to kind of take, depending on that measurement, maybe an eighth inch off each side and keep grinding it back and test fit. And so that's what I'm gonna do now. It's pretty close, but I'm gonna go ahead and start grinding it back so I can test fit it in. It fits nice and then I'll turn the camera back on. All right, so I've ground it back enough where it sits exactly where I want it. The pins aren't bound. They sit exactly where they should. There's not really a gap. It fits almost perfectly flush as far up as it will go. So now what you have to decide, so with this Team Z cage, the door bar is bent, so it'll clear your stock door panels, the, the armrests on your stock door panels. So just make sure if you're using a Team Z cage or any cage that actually has that bend that you still can close the door before you get this piece welded in. Uh, which I've already checked that, the door will close. It's sitting right where it should without these actual swing out clevises in. The other thing to think about is with my cage, I wanna be able to pull this pin and the bar just doesn't fall out. You know, like it's facing to the ground and falls out. I also don't want it facing up, but it's basically almost parallel where I just have to slightly push the bar out. The, the other way, what I did, so, and I'll show you after I get this done. So with this two piece clevis, you have this piece, if you can see it right here, and then this longer, I don't know if you call it the tongue piece. So what I did down there is I just flipped them. So this tongue piece is what welds to the bottom side down here. And this groove is what actually welds to the bar. So it'll swing. So I'm gonna go ahead Double check, triple check my fitment, make sure door closes, make some marks, and then I'll go ahead and get it tack welded in, and then we'll go from there. All right, so the door bar and clevis are completely welded in. As you can see, they still got that, that plate, so they're easy to pull out, they're not bound up, which is a good thing. So the one thing I really liked about this, this clevis kit was they fit pretty tight, I should say snug, uh, inside the bar itself. So what I, the reason I like that is when I was going to set it up to weld, I could get it sitting exactly where I wanted it and it's snug enough where it's not gonna move around. There's not a lot of slop or play. So Team Z did a good job at uh, CNC cutting these things to fit in here that uh, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, I, I haven't done another one of these so I can't speak to any other companies. It's the first one I've done, but I can't speak enough about a lot of the Team Z products. You know, this car's got the Team Z cage, full Team Z suspension, tubular front end, you know, uh, so on and so forth. So uh, I really like their stuff. So let's go over. So one of the things, like we had talked about, if you guys can see, I'll show you as, as it slides out. So when I was showing you earlier, like the tongue and groove. So as you can see, this side has got the tongue. You know, whatever you want to call it, and I call this the groove. This is the way I did it. You maybe can do it the other way. I don't know. Uh, but that's the way I did it. And it turned out pretty good. So, as always, uh, if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. There's plenty more to come. Uh, I've got the transmission in this car already. I'm waiting for the drive shaft to come. I ordered a uh, PST Precision Shaft Technologies out of, uh, I think they're out of Florida. Uh, custom drive shafts coming. I've got the fuel system ready to go in. I've got all the lines and all that, so I'll, I'm about to start on that. I'm almost finished with the wiring. Uh, I installed a chromoly lightweight uh, removable steering wheel and column. I've got the turbo on with the hot side. I'm waiting on the cold side to come. And I've got the Team Z seat brackets with the seats. Uh, I've just got to finish up uh, some of this interior. So plenty more to come. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.